Hello friends, welcome, welcome to my lesson on F5 and my name is Zubair Altaf Qureshi and this is lesson number 3 right, for the F5. So in this lesson what we are going to do is we are going to create what is called the node. Okay, we are going to create the node. Basically what nodes is actually these servers. So in our case, we have three servers. So you represent the servers with the name nodes inside F5, right? So we have 10, 1, 1, 1, 10, 1, 1, 2, and we have 10, 1, 1, 3. So these will be our three nodes that we have to create. Plus, we will be creating a pool. The pool is basically A service so in our case it will be HTTP okay that will be running on it I mean port 80 and inside so you have the service pool right but you don't have the members then ultimately the members are the ones who are going to service I mean reply to those service requests right so with the pool, you should have pool members. And, and what are pool members? Pool members are these nodes plus nodes plus the port number, service port. In our case, it's 80. So that is what we are going to do here. So let me just stop this quickly. Grab my pen back and let's change the color. So our uh, pool member number one would be, say, um, node one node 1 and with the service port 80 and then second pool member is node 2 with again service port 80 and node 3 would be our pool number 3 with port 8 so this is our pool member right pool members and then third uh, I mean the fourth thing that I want to do is the health check for this health check right for the pool Okay, so let me just quickly delete this and grab the what, red pen. I, yeah, I like the red pen. So, what is the health check? Health check is basically when you enable health check, we have to enable this on a service port or an application. Sir. So, I'll be doing this on, based on HTTP. And when I do this, what happens is the F5, right? This F5 box. Ha so, in our case, we have three servers okay it sends probe every five seconds every five seconds it's like a uh, keep alive you can say but this is based on the port i mean the http port 80 right so this f5 sends keep alive to check whether this with what's the health of this uh, what's uh, i mean the what's the health of the server of the not the server I'll say pool because I'll I'll be configuring you can configure this based on nodes as well but I'll be configured configuring this based on my pool wherein uh, all the three nodes right will be there so they will be covered so I don't have to go individually to the nodes and configure this health so what happens is every five seconds you will get uh, if I will send a probe check uh, to check the health of these servers okay and like this if I will come to know these servers are responding to the particular application or not okay but oh, if if uh, you don't get a response in response back in 16 seconds the f5 will come to know will come to know that what will come to know that the um, server is having some issue right is having some issue and it will not keep that server in the pool right i mean in case any future request comes it will not send that request to that node or the pool member right so that's how it is and then you have the status right you have a status uh, uh, column wherein you will see different colors of um, boxes you have a blue box you have a let me just grab, grab this you have a blue box this says unavailable that means you have not configured the health monitoring 
and you would probably have i think i don't remember it's, it's a green circle i guess the green circle is what i want it's it says available that is what i want that's what i'm looking for and then i will have most probably i have let's grab orange so i have i think it's an orange triangle if i remember so this is like some issue okay and then final i have i should have a red i think yeah it should be a red uh i don't remember the i mean shape that is unavailable not not unavailable offline okay so what do you want is a uh, green one right so this you will be only getting if you have the uh health check enabled right so let's do this let's create the nodes pool and the pool member and configure the health check. so for that to create the nodes you have to go to what you have to go to the ltm section and go to the nodes click here you will see node list here that is selected or you can go and click the uh, select the node list from here and you will see node list the same thing uh, here you have to click on the create here you can specify the name i will say server one okay and description is uh, this is my first server okay so here you can go with the ip address or the fully qualified domain name if you have we have the ip address that is standard one 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 right and then uh, the, this is for the node level uh, health monitor i will keep it like that then you have the ratio connection limit and connection rate i'll keep it like that only i'll say repeat so that uh, i have three nodes to be created right this is my first one and i'll go for the second one that is my server two right and this is my so i'll say second server nice and then address is standard one one dot two and then repeat again and probably i'll do the repeat third time that is for the server number three right and this is my third server this is the description and then i'll go and specify the ip address that is the third one. and then i'll say finish because that's it i need only three nodes and three nodes are done and you'll see three nodes and yeah this is basically the one I said right blue yeah blue is unable available if you hover over this you say um, uh, unknown but it should say unavailable let's see once we create okay this is the node level so I will go into the pool now I have to create the pool so you go to the LDM and pool and then pool list and then you say create okay this is the pool so I'll say my HTTP pool so description is pool for http okay and then this is the i mean the default load balancing method i'll keep it like this and then you have three options to add the members one is new node if you don't have the node list then you go here and specify the new nodes if you have a fully qualified domain name you can go here but i have the node list i already created three nodes so i will select from those or i'll select all of the three so I'll go here and then I specify the first one and then I specify the port. Either you can say port 80 or you can go and say HTTP and then click on add. It comes here. And then next I'll do with the same with the all, all other two remaining, right? So now I have three uh, pool members. So that's the pool numbers. Now I will click finish and once I click finish, I should see my HTTP pool, right? But this is again in unknown or you can say unavailable so i have to go inside and i can see my statistics right so again i have three servers i mean three members here you can go to properties to check the general properties and this is what i want to do is health monitor so this option is where i can click my application so you have many i will go with http and click update once i update this f5 box is going to send probes to my three pool members the servers on port 80 to check if i can do this let's okay i will go to my pool and now you can see the green right available and members also should have green yeah right and let me experiment one thing if i can go here 
on my disk okay, and let me unlock my lab uh, can I do this okay I can do okay, capture 1 slash 2 let's see if I can open the Wireshark I should be able to open this that would be really nice so that I can show you the probes going on right let's wait and the Wireshark to come up okay basically you you should see those probes going on from the fi see i told you http so this is basically a get request so for one for three for one for two for for two for three right so this will be sending the probes this is the keep keep alive every five seconds right so that's what i was talking about let's close this drop and quit yeah uh, so yeah that's it for this video guys you 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 uh, you saw how we created the nodes and how we created a pool and how we created the pool members i mean added the pool members and also you can check the statistics here uh, we will use this option a lot in the next coming videos where we will do the load balancing part right so yeah so that's it and stay connected to my next video in where, wherein we will be creating the virtual server and i'll show the load balancing method right so yeah that's it for this video guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed till now and don't forget to share like and subscribe yeah uh, bye bye